KDE Gear 24.12 was released this week. Up next is one of the best things in the KDE space, and that is KDE Connect. There's a lot of great things, by the way. It's just that good. KDE Connect is awesome. So KDE Connect is a popular app for connecting your desktop with your phone and basically many devices. I've actually connected laptops with my desktops using KDE Connect and phones and tablets and all sorts of stuff. It allows you to share files, share your clipboards across devices, which is fantastic. Also, you can um, you can actually mount your phone on your desktop through Dolphin uh, with KDE Connect, and you can also use your phone as an input device or, uh, or maybe even a media player, all sorts of stuff. It's fantastic. And also, this release of KDE Gears gets an update to KDE Connect that a lot of people have been wanting for a long time, and that is Bluetooth support for KDE Connect. You used to basically have to do it only on Wi-Fi, and uh, that's fine for the most part, but Bluetooth is much easier because it's more reliable and you can ha have things constantly connected rather than making sure you're on the same Wi-Fi. But plus, KDE Connect starts up much faster on Mac OS, dropping from three seconds to 100 milliseconds. That is much better. And they've also made some improvements to the look so that they list the different things of like what is connected and what is uh, connectable as different. So I like that. You can also now filter the plugins by searching for stuff, not rather than having to scroll through the whole time to see what it is. You can just type it in and filter it all out to quickly make changes if you want to. I like that too. So if you'd like to learn more about what's in the new KDE Gears application suite uh, for 24.12, I'll have links in the show notes. 